Monica Tu is the $200 million woman who's making it a lot easier for Chinese to buy here. Monica Tu is the go-to agent for Chinese millionaires. Calling Chinese-born Monica Tu just another realtor is like saying Michael Jordan was just another basketball player. Monica Tu's company, Black Diamonds, is all about luxury. Monica Tu is the director of property concierge, Black Diamond. Monica Tu is confident that any changes to foreign investment rules won't affect her clients. Selling Homes Australia, the Chinese way, and no one sells it better than Monica Tu. I'm Monica Tu, I'm the founder of Black Diamonds Property Concierge. We're very specialised in luxury properties. We help to sell the property and we try to help people to settle into Australia. Chinese love to buy properties. People buy in Australia, people like Australia. Local Chinese or local Australian Chinese we do have the money to buy properties. This high-flying businesswoman calls herself a property concierge. Chinese are very sophisticated investors and advises her cashed-up clients on everything from housing to golf courses. This system is really good. We've got beautiful farms, we've got beautiful houses. You know, the Australian people are very welcoming. They're cashed up and ready to spend. For well, my business, is definitely a big growth. For many, now is the time to buy. Australia is on an aggressive recruitment drive to lure foreign funds. Chinese buyers... China and Australia has a closer relationship. So, congratulations, it's going! So people put a lot of focus on China. Going! So called like China people. It's so. Showing us around today is real estate agent Monica Tu. They welcome more foreign investors to come in. This property we have like over 30 groups of people. I'm a huge admirer of Monica. I feel that she has the same passion for luxury as we have at Vogue Australia. That's a really clever um, move from the Australian government. Come to this country, enjoy our lifestyle. We do have money, we'll buy property for ourselves and for our next generations. Just how many properties did you sell last year? A lot. <laughs>
today. So I'm one of the most um, probably successful uh, Chinese agent and in, in this luxury um, part of the you know industry. Yeah. So I'm uh, uh, again in all the media's you probably have read uh, or or, or, or a scene. Yeah. yeah. So I'm a two hundred million dollars um, achiever in yeah. just the last financial year. And again, you know, so what we did is by providing a luxury service, uh, just helping people. We leave the standard of the real estate industry. It's yeah. a revolution. Was you know said by the age you know the uh, good weekend. Actually, it is a revolution in this um, uh, real estate industry. So, I'm very proud, proud of, of it. it. Yeah, no, I I can see why, and and I just see your phenomenal growth that you've had in that short period of time, and you know just you and Jan, the assistant, and now you walk into your luxury offices that you have here in the centre of Sydney, and all the people that are working with you. And, and your growth is continuing now. I mean, uh, it's just sort of like 200 million in your last financial year, you personally. Um, where do you see Black Diamonds going from here now? I think that Black Diamonds is going from strength to strength, and that, that's scary, yeah, yeah. really. It's more like, a, of course, we've been done so much, you know, in terms of, you know, setting the standard and, you know, a um, lot of trainings. And yeah. uh, again, our vision is to uh, just grow with the market, as grow with the demand. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you work, like you said, you work in an office, like yeah. we'll have really trained, well-trained agents working with us. And sometimes if you want to grow a business, it's not about yourself anymore. Yeah. So I think they're, they're really fortunate to have a leader like myself. Yeah. So I, I'm, I think I'm a great leader. So it's yeah. not all about Monica too. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's all about the individual agent. How can I do? I, I'm actually stand, um, uh, you know, uh, very proud for uh, you know what I have created. Yeah. But you know, again, so I, I cannot be there all the time at every opening houses. The demand is just people just calling us from everywhere. Yeah. Right? I need a good agent to work with us. Yeah. So I'm I'm very fortunate to have a really really good team. Team around you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Which creates creates in your success as well. Of course, uh, yeah. Tell me, Monica, um, you know, you talk about the demand of people coming to you. I mean, I've, I've worked with many different offices over the years. I mean, I've never walked into an office where people are ringing you to come and list their home and sell their home. Uh, uh, it, I mean, what, what has been that really point of difference where people are coming to you rather than, you know, traditionally most agents have to pick up the phone or door knock or ring and, and look for a new business. The business is actually coming to you. Why has that worked so successfully for you? But don't get me wrong. So we yeah. sometimes, from time to time, we still have to pick up the phone and call people. Yeah. But again, I think again, I'm, I'm really truly blessed. So I think people believe what I do. So the vendors, the potential vendors, they you know everybody want a piece of service. Yeah. So they know uh, what I have created. Yeah. So they believe uh, my achievement. Again, I have a really good track record. So I, I, I was lucky to be in the media all the time because my concept is really well accept in yes. all the media so you know i've been in uh, you know newspapers, newspapers all around the country, I'm national talking TV. about yeah at national and international so i was on bbc world news and people from england pick up and call me so yeah. so they I, I probably cannot sell the house uh, in england but again a lot of english actually have a house in australia right so very lucky so i was, I was in like a lg zero i was in the uh, cctv which is the biggest uh, television channel in china how many and viewers on that like that's got about they they told me about four hundred million. million. Viewers. Wow! <laughs> yeah, oh, and I was on Phoenix TV. This is close to a billion people wow. actually watching it. I was my story was the Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg. Uh, it just named it uh, nationally. You know. So Seven thirty re report, you know, yeah. all the channels, right? Because you know, it's it's the concept. People really believe in service, which is lacking in this industry. And again, uh, on my achievement, uh, the Black yeah. Diamonds achievement. Yeah, and you can really see that Black Diamonds property concierge. It's like walking into a five star luxury Four Seasons hotel. Like you yes. get that service yes. from the moment you walk in, and you find that experience, and that's what your vendors obviously have experienced. Oh, uh, you. you know my vendors are they just they're just so wonderful. You know, yeah. every time we go to the listing presentations, they're just fascinated by our stories. You know, yeah. so they, they just love what we do, and they will, uh, you know for our company will hardly miss any. You know, listing. Listings, yeah. So my listing rate is mo almost ninety nine percent and success rate, yeah. and but I do uh, have need people. I want to help my my fellow agent Agents. to uh, stand up on their own feet. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm unfortunate. You know, they they they're, they're very very good <laughs> and they're very lucky too. Yeah. So they just list just come into our doors. That's yeah. right. No, that's fantastic. And yeah. and and just the other thing I I heard and and I was speaking to you about it and I spoke to one of your fellow agents as well. 
they said that you've got like over 30,000 people on WeChat. Is that right? Yeah, I so, think that, you know, we just had actually come today. I probably have like probably 33,000 people wow. uh, as per yesterday. Yeah. And again, I have a potential of probably another 10,000, you know, so yeah. in the different industries and come and want me to join them or they want to follow me. Yeah. And yeah, it is unbelievable. That's a huge following. I've got, to, I've, I've got to tell you, I mean, <laughs> we, WeChat's probably the number one. What is it like a... Is it like Snapchat in, in, in but I suppose obviously in, in China and, and in Asia? Is that yes. probably in what WeChat all, is? All, yeah, all these followers, they might not be a buyer, but yeah. they could be my referral partners or, yes. or somebody. So on the WeChat platform, just to share this with you, so Black Diamonds is not just about selling properties. Yeah. I think that everybody is selling properties, any yeah. other agent selling properties. So, so for us, it's like we create a lifestyle, that platform for people. Right. So, you know, all these people came to Australia, so they want a piece of Australian. So they want to be integrated part of the community. Yeah. So we, we try to fill that gap. Mm -hmm. So I just give you a couple of examples. You know, like on the weekend, I was talking to about 150 people. See, just share my, my story. So I consider it a successful story as a new migrant. Yeah. So you come to this country, if I could have done that 27 years ago, you could do it too. Yeah. So we just help them get some ideas, establish themselves. And, and again, we uh, uh, line up with a lot of charities. So we help them to be part of a charity as well. I work with a lot of schools yeah. to help in the Chinese community, how to be part of that community. small community, yeah. it, which is really important for them. Yeah. Again, my, my partners, with, I partner with the New South Wales Gallery, so we mm. do a Mandarin tour for, for people who love arts or maybe they don't love arts, yeah. but we try to help them to be part of that. Yeah. Uh, or in the lifestyle, I'm, I'm partner with the Vogue magazines, we do a lot of luxury uh, like an event for our uh, Club Diamonds members. So the people has already bought the house wow. from us. So yeah. you come to, uh, so you had a luxury life back in China. So when you come to this country, so you are not alone. Yeah. So we create, we work with Tiffany's, Christian Dior's, uh, Paspalis, and we host a uh, lot of luxury events and to help these people to be part of their circus yes. and get all the people together in that particular, you know, uh, luxury. Sure, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you've aligned yourself with some of the, really the, the, those blue chip labels yes. in the industry that represent luxury. Yes. And that's what yes. Black Diamond stands for and what Monica yes. 2 stands that's for. That's why all my followers is keep increasing because they're cool. <laughs> you know? so they, they, love, they just love the event. Can I come? I say, yeah, yeah. maybe. You know, yeah. so they're just not just following us with, um, you know, buying property. They might not be a buyer, but yeah. everybody can be a potential buyers or, or sellers. Yes. So our core business is real estate. Yeah. So we'll never forget. So after all, we're real estate agent and we're professional real estate agent. Yeah. yeah so fantastic. We're really Fantastic. happy for what we do. So Monica, I suppose one of the things, you know, leading up to where you are today, there would have been some challenges that you would have faced, like anyone along the journey of reaching yes. success. What have been some of the challenges for, for Monica and, and Black Diamonds? I think the challenges, uh, you know, uh, is always there. So we, we treat the challenge like a really positive thing, so help, help us grow. But again, as a business entrepreneur, right, so I think it's really important we have the right guidance, have the right people around us. Mm -hmm. So for example, you know, you know, I don't have enough time. Yeah. So I wish I'm, I'm there all the time. So, you know, like to, uh, to mentoring, to helping my team. Yes. So that's why I do have to find the people probably like yourself or yeah. to come and give us help, yeah. not just helping myself and helping my team to grow as well. So, you know, as an entrepreneur, so sometimes you really have to let go. You have to work with the best people in the industry and to, to, to grow the company and, you know, Sometimes, the, you know, you know I'm, I'm a very strong lady, yeah. so I think I can do anything, but we cannot do everything. Yeah. So I think using the mentoring service and working with the best people in the industry and learn from the best and then we can grow. That, that's my biggest challenge. And yeah. of course, and to find the right mentor. Yeah. And uh, I'm very fortunate to find you, Claudia. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks, it, thanks, it's yeah. really a blessing. And, you know, so the, and again, it's the time. So we don't have enough time. I'm, I'm just like, I work seven days a week. And so luckily, I'm very enjoying um, my yeah. work. I'm very passionate about what I do. So that's, yeah. you know, that's one of, one what, of the challenges I have. Yeah, I was going to say, because with that growth, obviously your time gets constrained and you're only one person with capacity. But you've surrounded yourself with some great agents around that can help you, yeah. that you can leverage off and, and still provide that level of service that Monica 2 stands for and provides for. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. And, and then the, we'll have to grow our team as well because, you know, service, you know, you need people to be there. You need time to service these people. Yeah. So once the company grow a little bit bigger, yeah. so, uh, you know, still a lack of service, but we, we try to actually grow as slow as possible oh, yeah. and to maintain 
maintain that service level. And not so compromise the quality. Not compromise the quality. Yeah, that's great, because yeah. that's what you stand for all the way through. Yes. Fantastic, Monica. I really appreciate your time today and hearing your personal story. And guys, this is truly inspirational. She's a rock star of this industry in the high-end luxury living. And it's all about really, what are the degrees of separation? How did she stand out from just being a real estate agent? It was all about the service, providing five star. That's what you've got to think about when you're real estate, in your business, of how you can stand out. Monica, I'm blessed to be working with you and also thanks again for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.